We're cleaning out the room. Uh, I've got this huge this box of just random notebooks and drawing stuff that I probably needed back from when I was drawing. Um, I'm, I'm, I don't know, I might sell some of that for just a bit of extra cash, I maybe to spend on video equipment or video games or something. Um, or, you know, posters to spice up the room, because that does help with the presentation of the videos. Um, but uh, I don't know how long this camera's gonna go, because I just spent like 30 minutes of recording this giant cesspool of just emo, anger, dumb, ignorant, super, super ignorant, just blah, the other day. Um, when I was trying to do this 300 sub special thing, and I mean, main issue with that video is that I shouldn't have been doing it in the first place. I was talking about topics I was not personally well handled with, nor did I want to talk about in the first place, and it was more out of an obligation. And when you get me trying to vlog out of strictly obligation, we're going to be having some issues. These vlogs are more of a passion project than anything else. They're not something I can just sit here and try to conjure up for the sake of having it made, you know. Um, I could, probably, but that's just not how I operate as a video creator. And you could say, you know, get disciplined, blah, 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 but it's like, for this kind of content, I don't want to, you know. Oh, God. We found another notebook. This is, oh, just a cesspool of bad writing. Um, anything from, like, 2016 to early 2017, I will immediately hate it. Anything from before then, I will immediately hate myself. Um, there's a happy 2017 hat, why not? This is, dear God, this is the kind of stuff I, I film these days. Lego, Lego Heroica, you know, me and my dad were going to get a kick out of this. Um, it never happened. He was like, yeah, I don't care about that anymore. And subsequently, so was I. This was like, this was really, really cheap. Um, and we were going to get a kick out of it, but we never did. So it's like, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Probably sell it. I don't know if I can sell any of this stuff. I don't know. You know, what am I... We got, I got hats, you know? I got, I got hats. Um... You know, what is going on here? Oh, man. I've actually... I don't even know why I still own this. This, this doesn't even work. Oh, I remember why I kept this. This, um... Issue of, of entertainment with, with David Bowie on the cover. Um... Man, I, when David Bowie died, that was really, really sad, bro. Like, I... No joke, I, I was bawling my eyes out when that happened. He's such a legend. And for us to lose a guy like that... Oh, God. Stick figure drawings. This is... This is insane. Um, I found another mouse. Or another computer thing. I think this is just the drawer where I just unload insanity. And now I've decided to throw it all over my room. What am I even doing? Um... Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom. What? What even is this? Oh man, I. It's a box. Isn't that fun? Memes! I, I'm not even going to attempt to be funny in this. What the heck? This is gonna go in a pile. All the stuff that will immediately get. Oh my. My brother's underwear, he doesn't even live here. Oh god, this, oh, The Secret of Nim, that's not an oh god, that's a good book. Um, what else do we have here? It's, it's free comic book, Attack on Titan Anthology, ugh, get it out of here. I've got like four of those, four, you know, Camp Midnight, this was good. Like, check out this art style, this is, 
this is top grade right here. This is, you know, and unfortunately this got all screwed up. Um, it got wet, and then I just decided I'm not going to take good care of this because it got wet. All my other comics are in, you know, binders and stuff. But I love the, I love the art style on this. Look at this. This is so cool. It's great. I absolutely love it. Unfortunately, I haven't read the actual books. That's just a little sampler that they give. Oh, demos, man. Demos. It's from the Xbox 360 era. This is probably when my dad was, like, the most into gaming at the time. He got the magazines, you know. There's, And if you stack these up, you get quite a lot of game experiences, like the Naruto game. I remember this being a okay game from what Happy Console Gamer said at least. Now I gotta check that game out someday, but like, if you stack all of these up with each other, in an afternoon, you're going to get a ton of just memorable gaming experiences. You know, The Born Conspiracy? I don't even think this game got released. You know, Blue Dragon, cool game, D Def Jam Icon. I don't even think this, I, I don't remember that being released, Oblivion, you know, Xbox Live Arcade, we got uh, Internal Sonata, some kind of JRPG, that, that's cool, you know, Tony Hawk, <laughs> Tony Hawk's Project 8, jeez, like he has a career anymore. Oh, this is uh, one of the, the ones for the original Xbox, you know? I mean, I, I might actually pop this in, because we got Shadow Ops here. That's a cool game. You can, like, drone strike people and stuff from what I remember. Awesome, awesome game. Um, you know, we got uh, Armored Core. That's from software. Absolutely perfect. I love from software all day, all the time. Um... Oh man, I I remember when I just Crystal Pepsi just sent me this this free um free Crystal Pepsis in the mail, and like um I I sent you can find the Dolly Popka video where I sent one of them to him after saving it for months and not having money to ship it. But um when Crystal Pepsi sent this in the mail, I remember I would just savor these, and I thought they were so great, but. I, um, I kept all the bottles because I thought they'd be like collector's items or something, and I just wanted to hold on to that memory desperately of Crystal Pepsi, but now, it's back. So, I don't even have to have this stuff anymore. Um, I don't, I don't know why I haven't gotten rid of it already. Uh, oh, broken headphones, a USB thing, um, candy? What? Oh, this is a, a cool anthology right here. I love this this anthology. I got this when I was like eight years old. Um, this the zombie comic. I think I was eight years old. I don't know the... This was bought at Hastings. That just shows its age. But look, like, I remember reading this thing, and um, there was just... The stories were just so mature and action-packed and had themes like I had never heard of, just so many things being done with zombies, and it was great. Like, when I was reading this, you know, as like eight or nine years old, I was blown away. You know, it blew my socks off just getting to read all these comics, taking the medium of zombies and all these different views and all these different perspectives. It was amazing. I loved that book, and it was very mature. It was unlike anything I had ever heard. You know, um, so that was a good time back in the day. A Nerf gun? I, I don't know. Let's get this out of here. Um, more Crystal Pepsi. A hat? I actually, I remember me and my friend Cameron when I was, uh, visiting his house. Uh, we would play, um... What's that blue cartridge on the Nintendo 64, um, what's it called, uh, it's the 007 game, I think it's The World Is Not Enough, after we were playing that on my little bitty GameCube screen, 
you know, I brought the screen over because he didn't have a TV to play his Nintendo 64 on, so I brought that little bitty screen, and we just sit there and play multiplayer matches of uh, The World Is Not Enough, and then we'd go outside, and we'd throw this hat around, and it was so fun. Um, we, didn't, we didn't even have a ball to throw around, so we just threw around my hat, and it was a great time. He's a, a great friend of mine. Um, you know, before he moved away, and now, you know, I can't seem to get in contact with him anymore, unfortunately, because he just kept on moving around so much, um, but he always seemed to remember me, like, we, he had my number, and he could always remember it, so wherever he was, he would call me, and if he got to a place that was near me, I could go visit him, and it's so sad that he didn't get my new number, and I can't talk to him anymore. He's such a such a cool guy. Um, you know, I wish he had, like, access to one of my channels or something, and he could find me like that, because I do miss him quite a bit. If he even, I don't know, remembers who I am. It's candy? I don't know. But I had some great memories, you know, talking with him and playing games with him. All these old Nintendo 64 games. It was a great time, no doubt. Um, and I'm making my room an absolute mess. I gotta clean this afterwards. I remember this film, man. Me and my brother, we would laugh so hard watching Dodgeball. I don't remember how old I was. I think it was maybe eight, nine, seven years old when I saw this movie. We just picked it up randomly at Walmart. And, like, ever since then, it was, like, this legendary thing for us. We'd watch it all the time on the Xbox, you know, the original. Um, and it was a... It, we had great time seeing that film. I got my freaking skull. Oh, man, those were the days. And I think, actually, I think if I open this up, I think Shrek is actually in here. No, not Shrek. Hmm. Army of Two. I don't even think you can play this game anymore. Um, what is this? Score textbook. Get this out of here. No one needs that. Um, PlayStation Three games. Receipt. Wii games. I don't know what this is about. Um. Looks like me writing down a bunch of games I want or something. I I don't know. Um, hmm. Well, I think I pretty much both destroyed the room and got everything out of this hole. I don't know where I'm going for here. You know, I I got I got cassettes. Um, so what is this? Slim Whitman, all my best. I don't know what this is. Um, I think my brother was into that. I don't know. Um, my brother was into some, some weird things. Um, oh, there's more video games? Holy cow. More video games. And a script. I just found... I just found an old script. So this was going to originally be my first review on the channel before I did my gyrus review I was going to do this epically length you know multiple not multiple parts but it was going to be like 20 minutes long of this huge KO the kangaroo review and it was going to be were the developers on crack or something oh yeah this is awesome that was some of the worst I have ever heard. Okay, I'm your here on this next level where you have to shoot these ice wieners down. Oh, thankfully the music is just a couple second loop over and over again. You know, it just keeps on going on like this. It's just a stream of consciousness mess and it's gross and it's weird and it's... You know, it doesn't... I think my problem now is I'm just too structured. Like, my content is just too organized. And in being so organized, it ends up saying absolutely nothing. Like, I try to make it... Sometimes I try to make it too dense, and I try to organize it too much. 
and then I leave out crucial details and I don't play around enough with the structure. Back in the day, these used to be just a complete stream of consciousness of whatever. I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. And I, this review, it's just trying so hard to be the angry video game nerd. Like, that's what I originally aspired to be like. I just wanted to be AVGN. Um, and I've never since, you know, messed around with the script again. There's more here. I think there's actually more script here. Um, random rap I wrote in a few minutes need to revise. I have this rap on my computer, actually. And I never adapted it into an actual song because I thought I was like a response to someone else, but I... It was so cringeworthy in that I completely misinterpreted that person's stance and I was trying to represent them. So it's like I came off as this completely dumb, pretentious fanboy in that rap and it just made me not want to release it. Um, I got speakers. I got, I got giant. I really have to clean all this stuff up now. Like, um, what I'm trying to do since you have zero context if you actually made it this far is that I'm trying to clear out my um... I'm trying to clear out this drawer so it can be taken out because this drawer is like broken and I don't actually need it because if I just moved stuff around and threw some stuff away maybe sold a few things for you know, a bit of extra cash I would not need this drawer right here, and then I could put like an actual shelf. In general, I think the furniture in my room needs to be moved around, but um, I do want to deal with this like uh, like first. So that's that's the issue I'm dealing with right now. But the bigger problem is just cleaning up this mess I made all over the room and take and taking out all this stuff in like an insane stream of consciousness rant but I needed to make it a video or else I wasn't going to do it so at least there's that and at least there's a mess for me to play in um you know that's the thing people always comment on my videos telling me how bad my room is it's like do you it's like I don't already know how bad my room is. I live in my room. And you expect me to sit here and be like, Oh yeah, I had absolutely no idea. What is... Oh, this is all old blankets and stuff, isn't it? I gotta deal with this tote. This is... I This is too much. I gotta clean this stuff up. I gotta... I gotta situate my life. This is... This is just, oh boy, I'm, I'm, oh, if I had a gimmick, I'd be living it right now. This is, this is just too much.